Okay, go ahead. So when you run it, the first thing it tells you when you run. Type in and do you run it. So you don't actually have to enter it if you don't like do something or whatever. Yeah. It will work fine. So basically you're gonna play and every time you play the one that breaks, it turns the motivation of both. Wow. <laughs> Carlos, this is pretty cool. And then you have five lives, so say you so say it doesn't be at the very top on the bottom, you lose your life. Yeah, of course. And then once you hit ten, it keep it prints keep going and then your name, you're almost there. Good. There's only there's only fifteen of them. Mm -hmm. So then once you hit ten, it goes back. And then you keep going. And it's still printing motivational posts down here. Wow. Wow, thank you. I found the ball like curved like that randomly. And then when you go, and then when you finish, it says good job, and then your name. And if you don't actually enter your name, it'll still, it'll still um, say good job. So like, if you see down here in the code, it'll still say it whether or not um, you put your name. Yeah, cool. Um, how come the ball kind of curves a little bit? Um, oh, you don't have like true physics in this. No, that's because I'm. It's in the code, so like when it hits, um, when it hits the base or one of the bricks, it uh, the ball goes in the opposite angle of which it came. So oh, okay. you see, like, so we hit the brick in that angle, and then it bounces off in the opposite angle. Right. So it's like, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Carlos, um, the one thing that I would strongly suggest you do is at the beginning of the game, after you ask the person for the name, yeah. you just give the, give a little description of what keys you have to use in order to move the paddle. And, uh, you know, do you, do you use the A key, the S key, the the space bar it's, or the, it's your mouse. Okay, let them know that then. Okay, very good. Excellent, Carlos.